Registering to run as president, Saif al-Islam Gaddafi sees himself following in his father's footsteps. Son of former Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi, Saif al-Islam is likely to play on nostalgia for the pre-revolution era. During the 2011 uprising that swept Gaddafi from power, Saif al-Islam defended his father's regime. Look at how the Libyan people have mobilized, men and women, to break the back of the rebels. Now we are going to Tripoli, and you'll see the situation is under control. In November 2011, days after his father was killed, Gaddafi was captured by the Zintan militia group. Four years later, he was sentenced to death in abstentia for crimes committed during the revolt, including the killing of protesters. But in 2017, he was pardoned by Libya's Eastern-based administration. He's also wanted for war crimes by the International Criminal Court, potentially complicating his presidential ambitions. After his release from custody, the precise whereabouts of Saif al-Islam had been shrouded in mystery, but an interview in October with the New York Times set the stage for his political comeback. While a prominent figure, some analysts say he may not prove to be a front-runner, with the Gaddafi era remembered by many Libyans as one of harsh autocracy. His candidacy comes amid a fragile peace process in Libya. In recent years, the country has been split between two rival administrations backed by foreign forces. But a unity government sworn in in March is tasked with steering the nation to UN-backed elections on December 24. There are doubts, though, the poll will go ahead as scheduled, as different factions and political bodies dispute election rules governing who can run.